As I am filming this today, we're exactly two months away from our baby's due date, which is so insane. I'm definitely in nesting mode and I just want to get all the baby stuff now that I can. <laughs> Even though we're not going to set that many things up because, as I said in past videos, we are going to move. About two months after the baby's born, we're going to move again, so we're not really going to, you know, have a ton of baby things out, but I'm totally in that zone where I just want to prepare everything right now. Last week, we had a doctor's appointment that um, went well. As our doctor was measuring me, she said that I was slightly small um, for where I should have been at 30 weeks last week. Um, so she recommended that we go down and get an ultrasound done. Um, and she did warn us that it could just be the baby's positioning inside of me that had me measuring small at the time. But she just wanted, you know, to double check and make sure that everything was good. Obviously, we followed our doctor's instructions and we went down and um, had that unscheduled or unplanned ultrasound that day, like right after our doctor's appointment. And at the ultrasound, we found out that it was thankfully just the baby's positioning that had me measuring small, and the baby is right on track still. So that was such a relief because to hear your doctor say, um, you're measuring a little small, you know, let's get an ultrasound to double check what's going on. Your heart starts beating so fast and you have no idea what to expect. <laughs> and I'm glad Nate was there with me because, you know, neither of us knew what was going on or what, you know, if the baby was healthy. Luckily, the baby is super healthy. Uh, when they measured it, the baby, during the ultrasound last week, he was measuring at three pounds and four ounces which was exactly where he should have been. He is still breech, but I am still fairly early for him to turn. I'm not sure when he's gonna turn down, but hopefully he will do it before I go into labor. While we were at the ultrasound, uh, something that I was not expecting at all was for them to show us that our baby has hair. I was totally unprepared to see the hair on our little guy, but it was so, Cute. In the end, I am glad that we had to have that emergency ultrasound because it was really sweet to be able to see our baby again and this time I could actually feel the kicks and everything and see it on the screen at the same time. So it was neat to be able to put two and two together and say, oh, when I feel this, that's what the baby's doing. He's stretching out his arms or he's kicking me real low. So that was really, really fun. For this week since we're at 31 weeks now. According to the app that I've been using, it says the baby is supposed to be about 17 inches long, like the size of a foam finger, which is pretty big in my opinion. And it's supposed to be about three and a half pounds. So if the baby was at three pounds and four ounces early last week, it's probably up to pace. And the baby is supposed to grow about half a pound per week now, up until labor, so hopefully that continues and this baby grows a lot. I know I've gained a lot more weight than I expected to. Last week at the doctor's appointment, I was weighing at 120 pounds. So I've gained about, according to last week, I've gained about 16 pounds so far in the pregnancy, which is... So I'm honestly very proud of myself. <laughs> I was also prescribed iron supplement tablets from my doctor because my iron levels are really low. So they want me to take that as a um, kind of precaution step because when you give birth, you lose a lot of blood, which is iron. So they just want to make sure that I have enough iron in me so that when I do go into labor and give birth, they don't need to do a blood transfusion or anything like that. I've said this in the past, like I still feel like I've had a pretty easy pregnancy so far, but I do have to say this past weekend, it really hit me, the, the uncomfortableness of being pregnant and having this huge belly and not knowing what to do with my body. <laughs> Last Saturday we were, um, for most of the day, we were hanging out with some family and friends 
Um, and I just, all I wanted to do was lay down in my bed. I mean, it was fun, you know, to be with everyone, but it was so uncomfortable for me. And that was probably the first moment where I was like, okay, I'm really pregnant right now. <laughs> However, I did learn something about this baby boy that I'm carrying. He wants to be a basketball player. I'm calling it right now. When we were hanging out with our friends, Nate and the boys started playing basketball with each other at the gym we were at. And so, you know, I was there watching them and whatnot. You can hear the ball bouncing off of everything and them yelling at each other across the gym. This baby would not stop moving. It was kicking and punching and doing everything. like. It wanted to be a part of the action and it wanted to play with everyone. So I guess we'll see in the next several years if this little guy does like basketball or not, but he's definitely being born into a Utah Jazz family. <laughs> so there's no way of escaping that. <laughs> well, that about wraps it up for week 31. We will have another doctor's appointment next week. So I'll be sure to talk about that in next week's video. And please subscribe so you can stay up to date.